Hi everyone. This next video assumes that you already have an Azure AD environment that you want to connect with. If you don't, check out Andy's video at the top of the screen. He walks through everything, everything you need to know. Also, this video focuses on Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync, which is Microsoft's new preferred sync method. It allows you to quickly synchronize your users and groups, but it doesn't allow you to synchronize devices. Most of my labs assume that you want to synchronize devices, you need to have hybrid Azure AD joint devices. So you may want to skip to episode 3, linked at the top, if you want to see me configure Azure AD Connect traditional sync. Okay, so one of the things I want to show you first is that this tenant, my get modern tenant with the primary domain of getmodern.co.uk, does not have Azure AD Connect set up. You might have Azure AD Connect set up in your Office 365 tenant, you know, you might have already had it. Uh, had DirSync configured and, and now is your AD Connect configured to synchronize your users from on-premise to uh, to the cloud. But obviously this is a lab, you, you might have seen me set it up in the previous video. This is brand new. I haven't set up Azure AD Connect yet. Notice though that the primary domain is getmodern.co.uk and that isn't the primary domain of my lab tenant that I've just set up. So we're going to go ahead and change that in a few seconds. Firstly though, I'm going to grab uh, Azure AD Connect and take a look at this. So under Manage Azure AD Cloud Sync, if I click this, you can say I've got no configuration at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and download that agent and accept the terms. All right, so it's finished downloading. I'm going to grab that from here and copy it across to my domain controller. Just paste that on the desktop for now. Okay, so I need to somehow make sure that my users will be signing in with the correct UPN when they log in. And the way I do that is uh, go into Domains and Trusts. And I want to add an additional UPN to my Azure AD domain, uh, to my act on-premise AD Domains and Trusts. So I go into here, right click and choose Properties and then add the additional UPNs in. I'm going to add getmodern.co.uk and I'm going to remove contoso.com. Okay, so that's all done. The next thing I need to do is make sure that that UPN is usable by those users who need to log in. So back into Azure AD Users and Computers. I'm going to go to Corp and find my users. I'm going to go with test user one for now. And we'll take a look at the account. And you can see it's still set to contoso.com. So I'm going to change that to getmodern.co.uk. And test user one is the one I'm going to be using. But I'm also going to go with creating a new user called Jimmy. And give that getmodern.co.uk as well. So now we have Jimmy with a password. Okay, so hopefully he'll be synchronized as well shortly. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and install Azure AD Connect. Okay, so this is the very familiar Azure AD Connect page for anyone who's used this before. I'm just going to go ahead and click Next. And I'm going to authenticate to Azure AD. And so now that I've logged in, it asked me if I want to create a new managed service account for this uh, synchronization. So if I, as I do, I'd like to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go and log in with my uh, domain admin credentials. Okay, so this is the domain I'd like to configure. Okay, so I'm going to go next. And this is essentially what we're going to do. We're going to configure this Azure AD to synchronize with this on-premise AD. So let's go. Okay, so that's done. It says your agent installation is con con and configuration is complete. Please complete 
all your provisioning configurations using the Azure AD portal. So let's go ahead and click that link. Open an edge. I'm just going to grab that link from the browser and, and move it into my uh, non non DC workstation. Uh, I don't have internet, uh, non proxy internet through that. So I assume it means this provisioning agent section here where I'm I'm sat. But let's take a look. Yep, pretty much there. So let's go into manage sync, and we're going to click on new configuration. So the Active Directory domain that we'd like to sync is corp.contoso.com. And we're going to go ahead and do password hash sync because that is really, in most cases, the best synchronization you can do. If you're interested in what it's doing, we can go over here and take a look at the activities that are going on. It's currently creating the... Um, the cloud sync configuration and saving it. All right, so here we go. We, if you'd like to read the configuration guide, you can go ahead and do that. The uh, link is at the bottom of the screen there. Otherwise, we will talk about the scope. So which users and computers will be, will we be syncing from Active Directory to Azure AD? Well, scope users, so all users are in scope at the moment. If we choose to select security groups then we can specify individual security groups or we can select or use so we can choose an OU and list them here for me it's a lab I'm happy to synchronize all users so I'll go ahead and do that attributes wise we're going to synchronize the password hashes because this is a password hash synchronization we're also going to Quickly take a look at the mappings. We're not going to make any changes here, but it's possible to make some really core cool changes to the uh, to the mappings here. Going back into the the step by step list here, we are going to uh, we got a validate option here, so we can click provision a user. So we need the uh, Active Directory distinguished name of that user. Let's go and grab it. I'm going to go ahead and add in advanced features and grab that properties and look at the uh, attribute editor and grab the distinguished name. So that's that there. Grab him and enter that there. Let's click provision. And this essentially scopes it down to just that user and then it enables the sync and we can test it before we go ahead. Okay, so it looks about right. I mean, I haven't configured much for this test user yet, so uh, it looks like it synchronized some stuff for me. There you go. I like that. It's really good. Okay, we can do another one or we can assume that we're all good. Okay, next we've got... Uh, Step four, which is uh, essentially health notifications. So in here we can define the email address which should be notified when synchronization is not healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and type I'm gonna leave the defaults just here. And then we can either enable it or disable it. It's fairly simple. I'm gonna go ahead and enable and then click save. Okay, so that's done. As you can see, our synchronization is healthy. One thing I didn't have any option to do was synchronize devices. And that's because Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync doesn't support the synchronization of devices. We will need to download and configure Azure AD Connect to be able to do that. And we'll catch that in the next episode. Okay, so that's it for this walkthrough of Azure AD Cloud Sync. Next, I want to take a look at Azure AD Connect traditional synchronization because some of my labs require hybrid Azure AD joint devices. I'll go ahead and remove the cloud sync agent that we just installed so we can take a look at Azure AD Connect in the next video. See you next time.